nice cover. I'll show you that. Mm -hmm. so, Is the car seat already assembled? Looks to be. Licking what? The back of my knee. You said licking that. Yeah, I know it sounded bad, right? Optics. Your feet are going to be in this video. My feet? Mm hmm. Well, I'm sure the views will go up for that. Uh, got the wheels, 20 inch rims on the rod. You know, we're riding a style when we come to baby camp. Now, we put it together, assembly time. This is probably the part where we'll speed up the video and make everything that I do go really, really fast so you don't have to. Somebody bumping real Compton City Jeeves. <laughs> probably on a motorcycle. Cause that shit sounded like it was right there. Right, so unlock. The stroller. Alright. Alright, you still filming? Alright. <laughs> yeah. Okay, release frame lock. So I was I think that's the frame yeah. locker. Okay. That was the click. That's right. That's click right there. Boom. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is the wheels. We just insert the rear axle into the frame until you hear a click. Okay, that's a familiar sound. And we know that the rear wheels are the rear wheel wheel wheels because they're big. Rear wheels are bigger. Yeah. That's how you know that those are. Are they in the car seat? They're right here. So these are actually the front and these are the back because they're the biggest. You know what it made me think about as I'm doing this? Somebody just rolled by bumping real Compton City G's, right? So that's Easy E's this to Dr. Dre. This probably came out 30 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 20 years ago or something like that. And I'm wondering, at this point, I'm sure that person also likes Dr. Dre that's playing that, right? It's just like, hey, it's a dope song. I'm just playing it. I fuck with Dr. Dre too, you know? Uh, and I wonder when artists hear this record that have become just like classics, they still get mad when they hear them. Even though the person playing it is just like, you know, I'm just playing it to play. Anyway, this is the second wheel. We're putting this right in. The first one went in pretty, real easy, real, real confident about that. And now I heard the click again. So far, um, they've been doing a great job of just like making things plug and play. You just plug it in, and it's good. You hear the click, and you're, you feel good about it. I'm, I'm sure Mink Mill still gets upset when people bump back to back. Yeah, yeah, he probably. That was a tough one. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Drake vowed not to perform it again once they became friends. Because Drake's such a nice guy. So. Ooh, look at like how they describe it. The white walls. My man got the white walls on there. Click. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Man. Stuff I can just press stuff into. I don't gotta go look for all the tools and this wrench and that wrench. Fire so far. What's this? Uh, 
so this is going to be another click monument. And this is the color sand, and it has, the reason why I picked it, even though it looks like it's going to get dirty pretty fast, um, all this stuff is detachable, so you can just throw it in the washer, and then I liked that it had the little faux leather handles with the color. I think it looks really pretty. All right, so explain what you're doing. So now we're gonna put the carriage in. Looks like these two pieces right here go into these two holes right here. And um, when I pulled it out, these were adjusted a little bit at an angle. So I was wondering how I was gonna get them to lay flat, uh, but you push this button in and then you're able to adjust these to where you want it to be like that. Like maybe they came like that. I pushed the button in and now it's like that. And now it's gonna actually lay flat when I put it inside here. So it's gonna be the same thing. Put it here, put it here, and so now we're gonna put the carriage on here. So he has shade, obviously, you know, out there in the sun. Uh, this piece right here is just gonna clip on to the bars here. So So this part right here initially was really hard to get on. Um, the bar is thick and the deal that goes on there looks like it can't fit it. It can. What I did was I positioned it on it from the bottom and then slid it onto the bar. So meaning it was a grip down here. I put it there first and then slid it onto the bar. And then after that, you just button everything up. All right, so now we're gonna put this real cool leather bar on there. Um, yet again, we're just looking for that famous click. Got it, got it, boom. Oops. And then for infants, you kinda wanna, from what I'm saying, you know, like I got mad experience, but you wanna have it this way when the baby's flat, they're not big enough to kinda be tilted up too high. And then this would be on this side. That way you're able to like see him, know that he's okay, and you're pushing him this way. Hopefully that helps someone, somewhere. Yeah. So what do you like about it? I've been working with it 